Hi, my name is Jia Zhou, and I'm a geography teacher. Hi, my name is Jia Jane, and I'm a geography teacher as well. Today, Joe and I are going to talk about volcanoes. Are you ready to start, Joe? I'm ready, Jane. Let's start with a good old definition. Let's tell the students what a volcano is. A volcano is a mountain, often cone-shaped, through which lava, ash and gases may be ejected at irregular intervals. How does that sound, Joe? I like it. I like it a lot. But what do you mean by irregular intervals? Well some volcanoes are extinct, so they will never erupt again, but the remainder are either dormant, so haven't erupted for a long time, or they are active. In an active volcano, eruptions can happen at any time. Shall we talk about where volcanoes are located, Joe? Great idea. If we look at a world map showing volcanoes, we can see that there is a pattern. The volcanoes occur in lines. The volcanoes in fact, occur along the edges of the plate boundaries, where there are deep cracks in the Earth's crust. This allows hot, molten magma to rise up, and be erupted as lava through the volcano's crater. One of the things, that can be quite puzzling Jane, is why volcanoes are different shapes. The volcanoes in Hawaii for example, are very very wide, but not so tall. This is because the lava, that erupts from these volcanoes is very runny and spreads out over long distances. Volcanoes which are the same shape as those in Hawaii, are called shield volcanoes. If we look at Mount Etna in Italy, however, it is a very different shape. It is very tall, and not so wide. It is made of layers of gooey lava and layers of ash. Ash is like a fine powder. It is produced when there are violent eruptions and rock is broken into tiny fragments. Mount Etna is an example of a composite volcano. So volcanoes are cool Jane. Only when they are extinct Joe. Only when they are extinct. Geography rocks.